Guys, I think I've just found this really incredible cute looking Zook. And probably the best thing about this Zook is that it bops. Hello and welcome to the second heat of the Bamzuki Uberzook competition. I'm your host, Robotic Master. The crowd are going absolutely wild after that last heat where Reborn picked up a spectacular, convincing heat win over his opposition. We now have four new Zooks waiting in the wings, ready to take part in the competition. How about we go ahead and introduce them because I think their fans and their teams are waiting to get stuck in. Introducing. Ugly bug. Quite a harsh name because I do think this is quite an interesting zoo to look at. It appears the main body is built out of two tear shades which are completely devoid of colour. A huge ground clearance gives him great ability to climb over other obstacles which could prove beneficial if any climbing events occur during today's events. Yang Hu. It's time for Bamzuki's resident cat Young Hu to enter the fray of the competition. It's lethal when chasing the Bamzuki mice. How would it fare in today's challenges? That's an unknown factor, but whatever happens, it's bound to be a spectacle. Diddle Idle. Taking its inspiration from Mother Nature, Diddle Idle is an insect type zook. It's very small and very slim, so it's likely to get through the tiniest of gaps. This might prove advantageous for in today's challenges. 5TN2. Rumor has it that this zook was built in only 15 minutes. Which is actually pretty impressive because if you look at this design, it's actually incredibly detailed. It might not be comes to surprise that it's designed by one of the legends of Bamzuki, Grandy from BB Superstars, which is short for Basketball Superstars, who went on to win their competition in Series 3 with the with Basketball Superstars and their basketball related zooks. Perhaps we'll see a legend later on in the competition. But for now, let's see how 5TN2 fares in today's contests. And that's it, that's our four Zooks taking part today. Let's move on to the first event. And our first event today sees us off to the Zook Dojo, with our first two Zooks already waiting for us in the middle of the arena. Zook Sumo rules are pretty simple. Push your opponent off out of the arena and the last one standing wins. 5 TN2 and Young Hu sit in the middle ready to get going. So let's kick start this event and begin the first contest. 3, 2, 1, go! And there's a strong charge by Young Hu who I think makes very quick work of 5 TN2 but we'll need to take a slow-mo replay because it happened in a blur. And we're just going through the replays right this second. And yeah, it's very clear on the slow-mo replays that Young Hu just finishes ahead. Well done, Young Hu. Next up, we have Diddle Idle versus Ugly, and this is a complete mismatch here. Ugly Bug towers over Diddle Idle, but Diddle Idle could probably run right underneath Ugly Bug, so this could be a very interesting contest. How are they fair in sumo? 3, 2, 1, go. And they're off. Ugly Bug just goes straight through and has fallen off. Oh my god, Diddle Idle wins. And time for the next matchup between Ugly and Young Hu on Sumo. Ugly came off worse off against Diddle, but will he make up for it against Young Hu? Let's find out. 3, 2, 1, go! And they're charging straight into each other. It's kind of hard to tell who's got the advantage, but Young Hu does appear to be throwing Ugly Bug around. We are going to have to go to a slow motion replay because it's very hard to tell who went off first on looking at the action. But according to our screens, Young Hu was the first one off and Ugly Bug still had legs in the arena, giving Ugly Bug the win here. That was incredibly close. It's now time for the fourth contest of the round with 5TN2 versus Diddle Idle in Sumo. Company 5TN2 is the only Zook without a win in this round, so will it make it the final Zook to win a round? Let's find out. 3, 2, 1... Go. 5 TN2 charges, oh that was easy, it's like swatting a fly, well it's like a bug so that's not really much surprise. 
Going into the final two contests of this event, everything is still to play for with all the Dukes even on one win each. The winners of these final two contests will determine who finishes where in the competition or at least in this event. So let's see how this all pans out. Three, two, one, go. An ugly bug charges today and they missed and 5CN2 takes itself off. That gives a win to ugly bug. Well done ugly bug there. And our final contest of the round is Young Who versus Diddle. Now depending on who wins could really change everything in the standings. It is really difficult to tell who's going to win this event. Well, I know who the smart money's on, but this could have a significant impact on who wins this particular event. But let's find out. Three, two, one. Go. And they're charging off, and I think Young Who picks up the win again there. I'm going to check the slow motion replay. I'm expecting it to show that Diddle Widdle was the first one out of the arena, and by a long shot, Diddle Widdle was out, which is very clear when you kind of slow motion replay, and you can see that Diddle's legs were out of the arena, and Young Who still had a leg on while Diddle was dropping. So Young Who picks up the win here. Well, this is the first event I actually have to do some very complicated working out. It's only the second heat too. Because we have joint scores for first and second place and third and fourth place, this will, the storing for this round will be based solely on what happened in their respective contests against each other. As we know, Ugly Bug did beat Young Hu in their event, therefore Ugly Bug is the overall winner of Sumo, picking up the four points. Young Hu comes in second place on a virtue of losing against Ugly Bug. I think that was a very clever tactic by Ugly Bug to smother their opponents and using their height advantage to great effect. As for Diddle Widdle, despite getting one over on the actual winner of the event, it has a settle for fourth place as it lost to 5TN2, meaning 5TN2 picks up third place with two points. If this round is anything to go by though, this could be incredibly close throughout and I don't see Diddle Widdle going that far out of it if it continues to show such a brave display throughout the remaining five contests. Anyway, let's move on before we forget. And now we move on to our second event today, which is Zook Hills. In this challenge, the Zooks will have to navigate a series of two hills, with each hill starting with a steep climb up, followed by a sharp descent down some steps, which are not even. If you look at the second set of steps, there are a huge drop between each one. This will require a Zook to have great balance and great climbing ability. A Zook that is easily unbalanced will find themselves struggling here and could easily tip themselves over and the Zook with a climbing ability should be able to navigate this course with absolutely no problems whatsoever. Being a speedy Zook also is beneficial here, because then you can get to the other end quicker than your opponent. Let's see how Young Hu and Diddle Diddle fare, shall we? 3, 2, 1, go! After the first round, Diddle Diddle will want to make amends, and Young Hu, despite falling over, wins before Diddle Diddle makes it over the first hill. And yeah, he glitched out, but Young Hu had already comfortably won by that point. Next up, we have 5TN2 and Ugly Bug ready to take on Zook Hills. Let's see how they fare. 3, 2, 1, go. And they're off. 5TN2 has a massive speed advantage and wins relatively comfortably. I think that might even be the fastest time yet. Well, at least in this heat anyway. And now we're on to the second series of matchups in Zook Hills. It's time for Young Hu versus Ugly. Now Young Hu won his first round match. Can Ugly do the same here? Three, two, one, go. There's already some history between these two with Ugly Kabug getting the advantage in Zook Sumo, but on this occasion Young Hu wins very, very comfortably. Ugly Bug is stuck. And now we have 5TN2 versus Diddle Widdle. These two Zooks are raring to go. 5TN2 won his first round matchup against Ugly, while Diddle Widdle is yet to finish the course. This should be a very interesting contest in that case. 3, 2, 1, 
go. And by interesting, I think this could be over very, very quickly. 5 TN2 wins and falls over the end. Little Idol barely got off the starting blocks. Now, before we try and see who's going to win Zook Hills, here are two Zooks that are yet to even finish the course once. We could be here for a while, but one of these Zooks has to win. Three, two, one, go. And they're off. Ugly Bug has the advantage here, but as we know, he gets stuck on the second hill, which he's done so. Diddle Idle is stumbling around and he's a lot slower and he's now made it to the second hill. And yeah, now they're both stuck on the hill and Diddle Idle has fallen down, but he's still going. They're both still taking this on. We could be here for some time. They're both even. Someone has to break the deadlock here in order to get the win. But the team even Diddle Idle has made it up the second hill. And all you need to do is make it to the end, but he's fallen on his back which is a lot further than Ugly Bug has made it so far and that Diddle Widdle is going backwards now I think he's trying to turn around using the end of the steps to his advantage he's done though, he's turned around and he's, he's, he's going away from the line again he kind of sprung himself up to the end and then he went backwards again he's travelled much further than the line already but he's yet to cross the line Does anyone has anyone told Diddle that you have to cross the line to win? Ugly Bug is still struggling, he's been stuck there for Absolutely the entire contest. I don't think he's going to move. Diddle is stuck on the edge. He's still stuck. I think they're going to have to call this in a minute. And this, but Diddle Widdle's on his feet. Diddle Widdle's back on his feet. Diddle Widdle is back on his feet and crosses the line in dramatic fashion and wins. That is probably the longest contest so far. And at times quite painful. But Diddle Widdle wins and beats Ugly Bug again. And now to determine who's going to get those four points that is desperately valuable at this stage of the heat, it's Young Who versus 5TN2. In my opinion, I think 5TN2 has had the slight advantage in terms of speed on this event, but let's see what happens when these two suits get to, to head. Three, two, one, go. And away we go, 5TN2 has a speed advantage but stumbles on top of the second hill and Sands advantage straight bait to Yong Hu, who capitalizes and wins. What unfortunate set of circumstances there for 5TN2. He will feel robbed. And now with two events down, let's take a good look at the standings. Yong Hu won Hook Hills and I think he might consider himself quite lucky to win that event and get the four points with 5TN2 feeling robbed, only getting three. Diddle Widdle always comes in third place and gets a total of two points here, but he's gonna feel very, very proud because he beat Ugly Bug, who won the first event. But he has beaten Ugly Bug in both confrontations, so he must feel hard done by that he's two points behind Ugly Bug on a technicality. Ugly Bug has a slight advantage over 5TN2 in the standings with both Zooks having 5 points as Ugly Bug won the first round contest. Young Who is currently in first with second place. Diddle Widdle brings up the rear in, f in fourth place with only three points, but Diddle Widdle must be seething their team because they've beaten Ugly Bug in both contests so far. But due to the way that the first event panned out, he ended up being worse off. Let's see if he can take that advantage back in future events. And now we move on to event 3 which is Zook Tag and for this competition we're in the Gooey Square Arena. This arena has walls so our Zooks are not going to be able to escape and they do have a 1 minute time limit to score as many points as possible. At the start of the contest there's a Zook target right in the centre of the arena made up by that green orb. The aim of the game is to score as many points as possible within the allotted time. Try to avoid the corners because they're giant gooey pits and you're likely going to get stuck and if I'm not impossible to get out of it's not very easy to get out of and I've not seen many Zooks escape from there but that being said this Zook competition is all based on speed so a speedy Zook with good control is going to fare well here first up we have Ugly Bug versus Diddle can Diddle make this 3 out of 3 wins against Ugly Bug or will Ugly Bug get one back for all the times that Diddle has beaten him today let's find out 3 2 one, go. And the contest that begins and Ugly Bug has the early advantages and knocks um, Diddle out the way. But is now just, and Diddle's just flying across the arena. 
uh, but that, that's not the affecting things. Ugly Bug is still steamrolling onto the target. Stiddle can't even get any grip and he's not even moving straightly. But he's got a couple of points. I think he has two points so far. He's going to pick up his third, but Ugly Bug has a clear advantage. Ugly Bug is toying with um, Diddle because Diddle is barely moving at any speed whatsoever, and Ugly Bug is just taking full advantage of that. And there goes um, Diddle's fourth point, but I, I'm not sure what the lead is, but I think it's pretty comprehensive at this point who is going to win. It's not even a contest, really. He's just flicking around like a beanbag. It's kind of surprising that. Um, Ugly Bog lost to Diddleweedle and Sumo. He's just not got no strength in Diddleweedle and he's been thrown around like a cotton candy piece. And he can't do anything to return volley anything towards Ugly Bug, but time has run out. And I can confirm that Ugly Bug has won by a score of 23 to 4 according to our score charts. Well done, Ugly Bug. And now it's time for Young Hu and 5TN2 to put their unrivaled speed to the test. Let's see what happens. 3, 2, 1, go! As we discovered in Zook Hills, we do know that Young Hu and 5TN2 are pretty nippy, with 5TN2 having a slight speed advantage, but 5TN2 is pitted, and I think he's stuck. We're going to wait a few seconds to see if he gets unpitted. But Young Hu now has a clear advantage. I think 5TN2 is stuck. And therefore, Young Hu will win by default here with absolutely no competition whatsoever. He has scored far more points at this stage than 5TN2. He's been knocked out so, so early. And he's fallen on his back now. But he has long since won the contest beforehand. And he ended up scoring 16 points before toppling himself over. No need to score more. His opponent's pitted. Now here's an opportunity for 5TN2 to redeem himself up against Ugly Bug, who beat Diddle Idle in the, his first contest in Zoot Tag. How will they fare against each other here? 3, 2, 1, go! And lights are off, and 5TN2 has the early speed advantage once again, and is racing towards a target. I think Ugly Bug has a couple of targets already due to his sheer size, and it's quite stable, I'm realising. You see, it's not kind of jolting around like 5TN2 is. But 5TN2 has a superior speed advantage and it's just moving him out of the way. A slight jolt there by Ugly Bug who takes himself over. But there goes 5TN2. He's going to take full advantage and try and score tons of points. He gets briefly stuck on Ugly Bug and again there. But he's still navigating around these obstacles. I think Ugly Bug is stuck on his back, so I think 5TN2 is clear to pick up the win. And I think it is clear at this stage that he has won the contest, even though time is still going. And they're letting 5TN2 in the off chance that he accidentally dislodges Ugly Bug. I think if he's smart, he's just going to leave Ugly Bug where it is and keep racking up the points, but he did run into Ugly Bug there, and time is up. I can confirm that 5TN2 wins 24 to 5, which is pretty convincing overall. And now, Young Hu, who picked up a pretty comfortable win in its first round contest against 5TN2, now takes on Diddle who has not had a good time in tag so far, losing against Ugly Bug. Let's see what happens here. Three. Two, one, go! And they're off. Young Hu takes the early advantage and throws Diddle Idle straight on his back. And he's kind of going towards the pit at this point. Young Hu is just minding his own business and just scoring tons of points. Diddle Idle is in all, no, all bounds of problems here. And it looks like that Young Hu is being declared the victor because Diddle is not going to recover from that pit. Well done, Young Hu. The score's irrelevant here because of that fact. And now 5TN2 will get to tangle with Diddle Widdle. Diddle Widdle was found in no ends of trouble in Zook Tag, landing himself on his back in round one, and then in the second contest he got pitted and on his back. They stopped the contest early because they knew he wasn't going to recover. How will he fare against 5TN2? 3, 2, 1, go! Diddle Widdle will definitely want to get some points at the board at the very least, but 5TN2 has put Biddle Widdle on his back once again. I think that's his party trick for this event. 5TN2 can take all the time in the world to touch targets. 
because I think he's got a massive advantage. They still think Dinawido is going to recover, so that this is why we're not stopping the contest at this point. And he's still showing some sign of movement, and as you can see, he's back on his feet. But it's 5 cn 2 is just powering through. He's not giving Dinawido a chance here. And I think Dinawido was picked up, I think that's his first point in the entire contest. Unless I've missed something, he could score second here, which he does. But he's fallen on his back again, and 5 cn 2 is just racking up a massive lead. This is getting embarrassing at this point. Very embarrassing, but 5 cn 2 is going to pick up a very comfortable win here as soon as the time runs out. Didwin was still stuck on his back, and he's not going anywhere near the target. He's not actively participating, and time is up, and 5 cn 2 wins 31-2. to That is crazy. And now it's time for our final Zook tag of the heat. It's Yonghu versus Ugly Bug. These two are pretty similar in colours, so it can be hard to tell who's going to hit what. Let's see if our little score chart can keep track of it too. Let's find out. 3, 2, 1, go. And they're off, and Yonghu has the clear speed advantage here and picks up the early points, but Ugly Bug has picked up a couple now. I think that Yonghu will have a... Nearly five or six point advantage, and he's going to use it to full effect. I think the speed is going to give him a huge advantage, but Ugly Bug is not exactly out of it, so he's going to have to want to watch out for that. But at this stage, Young Hu is doing everything in his power to pick up a good result. Ugly Bug got stuck there briefly, he's now unstuck, but they do seem to be very. I think Young Hu does have a speed advantage, but. Ugly Bug is keeping on motoring and he's picking up a few points here. This could be not goes up. Young Hu has hit the target and has flown to the top of the arena. The cat has taken a bit of a cat nap. I thought Young Hu had a massive advantage here. We're going to keep the contest running because he felt like he did have the advantage. Ugly Bug has the perfect opportunity to win. Can he score enough points in the remaining time? I think time is nearly up, so it's got to be quick and time has run out here. And I can confirm that Young Hu picks up a narrow win, winning 17 to 14. Oh, unfortunately for Ugly Bug, they were unable to do anything about it and have come up short here. What a dramatic end to that event, marking the halfway stage of this current contest. So, with Zook Tag, this has brought out the following results Young Hu picks up his second event win of the day, picking up four points. 5TN2 finished in second place with 3 points after his wins against Ugly Bug and Diddle. Ugly Bug beat Diddle to get third place, but it could have been very, very, very interesting if he was to pick up a win against Young Hu. And Diddle, again, disappointing result for them, picking up a solitary point. After three events, Young Hu has a 3 point advantage over 5TN2 with 8 points. And Ugly is in third place with seven points, one point behind t 5 TN2. Although Diddle is in fourth place, three points off Ugly Bug, considering he's beaten Ugly Bug in two of the three events, he does not feel like a Zook that should be in fourth place, and he does not feel like a Zook that should be so far behind the rest of the pack. Can he do anything in second half of the heat in order to change that fact? We will soon find out now as we go into the fourth event. And now onto the second half of the heat with a little bit of Zook push. In this event, I like to think of it like bowling or bowls or something, where the Zook is charging at the ball and he's going to hit the ball as hard as he can, see how far down the course he can push it with a single touch alone. They get three chances and three attempts to score the long, the furthest distance possible, but the Zook that pushes the ball the furthest will win the event and score the maximum of three or more points. But let's start off with Diddwiddle, who's about to make his first attempt. 3, 2, 1, go! And away we go, Diddwiddle charges and taps the ball, and that is not going to be going anywhere. That's going to make a slow ride down to the number one. I don't think that's going to cross the line at all. What a dismal throw, Diddle Diddle. You are going to have to do better if you're going to get anywhere in this event. You still have two more attempts though, so it could improve. 
Now it's time for 5TN2 to step up. He doesn't have that much of a benchmark to beat. He only has to get it past the first number in order to, to be at the top of the leaderboard after two Zoots have taken their first attempts. But let's see what happens. Three, two, one, go. 5T charges and that's a much better piece of contact. And you can see that's rolling down the score charts. How far will it go before it stops? It's gone past 13, 14, 15, 16. It rolls past 17. It rolls past and that's where it's going to stay. What a good attempt by 5TN2. A very good benchmark there of 17. And now it's Ugly Bug's turn to take his first attempt. He'll be looking to beat 17, which is currently highest total by the mighty 5TN2. Can Ugly Bug match that or can he beat it? What can he do? Let's find out. 3, 2, 1, go. And he charges at the ball. I don't think that was great contact because I feel like he tried to mount the ball almost with that attempt. But it's going pretty solidly. That's a solid attempt that takes it past Diddle Widdle, which is not, not much of an achievement there. But it's going to reach 12, which I think is a pretty solid attempt. Not quite totaling that of 5TN2, but a pretty solid attempt for a first try. And now it's Young Hu's turn to take his first attempt. 17 is the current highest score. Can Young Hu beat it? Or will he struggle to hit the target? Let's find out. 3, 2, 1, go. And that's another solid hit. That's a hit to the side, so that's going to hit the wall. That might slow it down. But that's a pretty strong hit, and there seems to be no stopping. He's approaching the 17. It's comfortably cleared that. It's comfortably cleared 19. It's cleared 20, and it's gone out of the arena, even with the sideways hits. That's a really comfortable push. He's got the maximum distance there, which is amazing. That's going to be hard to beat. After everyone's taken their first attempt, Diddle now knows that he actually has to get the ball across the line. And in order to finish anywhere above last place, he has to score more than 12. He will need more solid contact this time round if he's going to get anywhere near that base in his last performance. 3, 2, 1, go. And away he goes. He's made contact with the ball. That's better contact, but I do worry about the ball speed. He's going to reach the first number and doesn't get it over the line. Skill scoring zero points. You're going to have to score some points there, Diddle. But that was a better attempt this time. It's now time for 5TN2's second attempt. He will look to improve on 17 in the first round to strengthen his position in second place. However, that score's pretty solid at the moment, and based on things going, I can't see the other Zooks beating that at this stage. But 5TN2 may wish to extend this in order to improve his position. 3, 2, 1, go! Negus 5TN2, very solid hit there. That should take it down far. Already going past the single digits in Taster 10. Past the 12 of Ugly Bug into 14. Can it go further? No, he will be disappointed. That's not an improvement on his first round hit. And that is not going to improve his position right now. It is now time for Ugly Bug's second attempt here. He got 12 in his first attempt. And he only needs to beat 17 here in order to get into second place. Well, let's see how well Ugly Bug does. Three, two, one, go. Ugly Bug makes a charge, and that's a really solid hit. You can tell because that ball is flying down the course. He's getting towards his previous target. He's long on that. He's reaching 5GN2 territory. Past 17, past 18, in 19 points. Wow, he has taken second place right from under 5TN2's nose. What a shot by Ugly Bug! And now we're going to Young Hu's second attempt. This is kind of a bit more for fun because he's already got the lead. He, can he get to the maximum distance and knock the ball out of the arena again? Let's find out. Three, two, one. Go. Young Hu makes a complete charge. That's more direct than it was last time, but I can see it going over to the right-hand wall. 
will it hit the wall before he goes out? It's hit the wall, but he's still able to knock that for maximum distance it relatively comfortably. That's an impressive shot by Young Hu. And that pretty much confirms that again, he's just a cut above the rest in this event. And now it's time for the Zooks to take their third attempt. We're going to start with Diddle Iddle, who hasn't actually scored a single point yet. If he is to place anything above fourth place, he's going to have to get over 17 points. 18 and 19 will be enough at this stage until 5TN2 kind of sends a reply. But what will Diddle Iddle do here? So far he's scored nothing and not even scored one. So it'll be an absolute miracle if he can beat that score from this one shot. Three, two, one. Go. And there goes Diddle who hits the ball. That's not going to be enough. I don't think that's as strong as even his second shot. The ball is travelling at snail's pace. Has not even hit one yet. I don't think he's going to cross the line. What will the line say? Here comes the line. And he sends it back. So Diddle Iddle scores zero points. Again. It is now 5TN2's time to shine and step up to the arena. He lost his second place crown in the last attempt when Ugly Bug scored 19. So 5TN2 will have to score 20 or more in order to win and get into second place here. But let's find out how well he does. 3, 2, 1, go. And there we go. He hits it and that's a very solid hit again. Is that going to be enough? He just has to get 20 or more to take second place for himself. So it's slowing down, 16, it's gone to 17, where was that before? 18, it didn't go over 19, so 5TN2 will have to settle for third place here. Ugly Bug will now step up to take his third and final attempt. He's already guaranteed and lays second place, although it's going to be difficult to beat Young Hu at this point. But let's see how well he does anyway. Three. Two, one, go. Ugly Bug will have to hit it out of the arena in order to get anywhere near the total that Young Hu has got. But he is, that's a pretty solid hit though, but it's not going to be enough, I don't think. It's got to 15, it's incredibly slow, it just makes it to 16, it's not going to get any further. It already has a better attempt with the 19, so that's what's going to take him forward into second place here. Overall, a solid event for Ugly Bug, in my opinion. At this point, we already know Young who's won the event. That's not a surprise. But this is just more of a formality, really. Let's see what Young who can do here. Can he knock it out the arena for a third time? Three, two, one, go. Additionally, on to that point, can he hit it in a straight line? And he's hit it. It's not in a straight line. It's not going to hit a wall. It's rolling down there, and it's gone past 20 and out to the arena again. Well done, Young who. And now event four is complete. Young Hu picks up a very convincing win there, knocking the ball out of the arena at three occasions. But at this point, it's very difficult to know how far he was hitting the ball because the arena was too short in order for him to fully capitalize on that. But he still was stronger than the rest of the Zooks. Ugly Bug came in second place with that really amazing second attempt, giving him a total of 19 points, which is the second furthest shot of the whole thing. 5TN2 comes in in third place after his 18 point shot and Diddleiddle comes in last after scoring 18 points less than 5TN2 with a grand total of zero, which is a real shame. This does make things quite interesting in the standings, giving Young Ho a 5 point advantage over 5TN2 and Ugly with 15 points over 10 and Diddleiddle in last place 5 points behind Ugly and 5TN2. It will need to do something in the final two events in order to stop its inevitable fate of going into Wooden Zook. A win for Young Hu in the fifth event will see it qualify for the quarterfinals. And with Ugly Bug and Fire TN2 currently favourites to make its way into the Mazazni rounds. Played for and two events ago, so things could change up if things go the way of the other Zooks. Anyway, let's see whose fates are sealed and whose fates are yet to be decided. And we're off to event number five and off to the marbles arena for Zook Marbles. The best way to describe this is Zook Cubes with marbles instead of cubes. Our Zooks will have to watch out for the doors though. They tend to flick the back at the Zooks at quick speed 
and will knock the most unsteady Zooks off balance. But let's see how our Zooks fare. First up, we've got Young Hu versus Diddle Widdle. Let's see how they fare. Three, two, one, go. And they're off, and Young Wu is making short work in the marbles, flying through this course in a few seconds. Diddle Widdle, on the other hand, is still at the start. Great win for Young Hu. And now we've got Ugly Bug versus 5TN2. These Zooks are evenly matched so far in this competition. How are they faring in this contest? 3, 2, 1, go! And they're off. 5TN2 does have the speed advantage, but I do think Ugly Bug does have a slight strength advantage, so it kind of neutralizes it. Ugly Bug is just behind 5TN2, with 5TN2 winning, We're having a slight advantage over Ugly Bug. But as you can tell, I said a pretty evenly matched overall, with the strength counteracting the speed that 5TN2 has. And now it's Ugly's turn to take on Young Hu in this event. Young Hu is undefeated, while Ugly Bug lost against 5TN2, though that was a closely fought bout. How will it fare against Young Hu? Let's find out. Three, two, one, go! And they're off. Young Hu is ploughing straight through the course. This isn't even a contest. Ugly Bug only got halfway through by the time Young Hu finished. What a great win for Young Hu! Next up, we have 5TN2 versus Diddle in the Zook Marbles. How will these two Zooks fare? 5TN2 does have his win to his name, while Diddle it all doesn't. He lost his third round contest against Young Hu. Let's see how they fare today. Three, two, one, go! And again, 5TN2 uses his speed, but his strength is something to be desired because he's struggling past these marbles. But this should be really easy for him because Diddle is nowhere near. He's got to avoid those doors, and you've got a clean path to the exit, which you have just won. Diddle is still struggling through the marbles and has yet to win an event in marbles. But considering the speed of the Zooks taking part today, that's not much surprise. And here we have the two Zooks that are yet to win a marbles contest yet in Diddle and Ugly taking part. The winner here will automatically finish in third place with one event to go after this, the Young Hu vs 5TN2 round. But let's see how these two Zooks fare in the battle for third place in event 5. 3, 2, 1, go! And they're off. Ugly Bug has made an early charge and is taking a huge advantage here. Diddle Widdle is struggling through the marbles, but I think he kind of hasn't got any to hit yet, but he's gone towards the doors, and the doors are not going to play too kindly to him. In all of that, Ugly Bug has won, which is not much surprise. Diddle Widdle is having loads of fun in the doors, and just getting thrown around like a pancake. A very, very confident victory for Ugly Bug there. Well done. And now for the contest to see who will get maximum points out of this event, it is Young Hu versus 5TN2, who have both won both their contests so far. Who will come up better here? 3, 2, 1, go! And the light is green and they're off, and Young Hu once again goes straight down the middle and wins. 5TN2 lags a little behind, but that was pretty convincing by Young Hu in my opinion. And that's the fifth event down, there's only one event left to go, but before that, let's see how everything has changed for event five. Well, to be honest, it's going to be pretty much the same here, as Young Hu won yet again, with 5TN2 in second, with three points. Ugly Bug came in third, scoring two, and Diddle had a very disappointing performance in Marvel's scoring just one point. This leaves the standings like this. Young Hu leads with 19 points, and has a six-point advantage over 5TN2, with one event to go, with an each win only picking up four points, so Young Hu is automatically qualified for the quarterfinals. Congratulations! 5TN2 is currently in second place with 13 points, with Ugly Bug in third with 12. They've been closely matched up throughout this entire round. And as for Diddle Widdle, he's already confirmed to be going to the Wooden Zoot Contest, so this last round is a bit more for fun. But let's go to Event 6 anyway, and let's see how the Zooks fare. It's time for the final event of the heat, which as always is the variety event. This is the second variation of the course of the two that we'll be using for the competition. In this variety, they have to get to the wall, touch the wall and come back to the pink line and cross it to win. 
They start off at the cylinders at the front, which go up and down. They have to wait for that to come down before they can go onto the turntables. Once they're through the turntables, there's a series of squares that they need to knock over. Then they go past the marbles, which are very similar to the marbles on the Zook marbles, and the swivel doors. Then there's a wall that they need to touch and then turn around and go back through the course and cross the pink line at the end to win. Starting off here, we have 5TN2 and Young Hu, our two fastest Zooks of the heat. Let's see how they're going to fare here. 3, 2, 1, go! And away they go, they both hit the rods. It's not going to be very hard to tell until the rods come down what's going to happen, but Young Hu just pushed 5TN2 out of the way. That's a pretty convincing way to get through the obstacles, and Young Hu is just ploughing straight through and has won that round in very convincing fashion. What a great run by Young Hu! Next up is Diddle Iddle versus Ugly Bug. Now Diddle Iddle is a little thinner than Ugly Bug, so can it get through the cylinders? Let's find out. Three, two, one, go. And away we go. Ugly Bug, wow, Ugly Bug made it through the cylinders due to his very high ground clearance. And I don't know whether that was because it was down or because he was in, not in the way, but his uh, Diddle Iddle made it through the obstacles quite well there, especially the cinder bit. Ugly Bug has got himself stuck on one of the marbles, so he can't actually reach the wall in order to turn around, which is incredibly frustrating, but he's got a lot further than Diddle Whittle. There we go, he's kind of back on track now, and he's now mounting these turntables, which is kind of annoying, and he's got stuck on the turntables, absolutely stuck, but he's long past Diddle Whittle, but he has finally got past that, and he's going to cross the line and win. Diddle Whittle, I think, has since left the course, but Ugly Bug won quite convincingly. And in this contest, we've got Diddle Iddle versus Young Hu here. Young Hu beat 5TN2 in the first ma matchup on this event, while well, Diddle Iddle kind of fell off the track and didn't finish at all. How will they fare this occasion? 3, 2, 1, go! And they're off. Young Hu hits the wall, but Diddle Iddle kind of went a bit square on one of the round pegs. He probably could have got through and would have done if he didn't hit the peg. But as being said, Young Hu just blasted through the course. Diddle Whittle is still making it through the turntables and kind of got a bit of a healthy hound past the turntables. But Young Hu's got stuck on the rods, which gives Diddle Whittle a chance to catch up. But Young Hu is going to win this contest as soon as it goes down, which he now does so. But Diddle Whittle made it to on the way back, which is pretty impressive. Well, compared to his last attempt where he got knocked off the arena, at least he made it to the halfway point and is making his way back. And it's time for the variety match between Ugly Bug and 5TN2. These two Zooks have been evenly matched this entire heat, with nothing separating them really apart from 5TN2 having the slight point advantage in this occasion. Can he use that to great effect and beat Ugly Bug here? 3, 2, 1, go! And away they go. 5TN2 has a clear speed advantage, but the ground clearance advantage by Ugly Bug gave him an early advantage. But the fact that he's getting stuck on the obstacles is giving 5TN2 the chance to pull up an outstanding lead despite the early advantage by Ugly Bug. But 5TN2 is now bouncing off the turntables, got stuck on another and run straight into the pole. Ugly Bug's kind of fallen off, I don't know how he got fell off. But 5TN2 is now winning the contest and has just crossed the line in pretty convincing fashion. Well done 5TN2. And now we have Young Hu versus Ugly. Young Hu can get the win for himself with a win against Ugly here, but Ugly could really throw a cat amongst the pigeons if he wins this event, or at least beats Young Hu in this race. But let's see what happens. Three, two, one, go! And yeah, I do say if, but young, Ugly Bug does have to pull off a miracle if he's going to beat Young Hu. Young Hu's a speed demon, and he should have used that advantage he had to great effect. But Young Hu is now going to plough right to the end of the course. He did get, and look at that speed. He wins the course before Ugly Bug makes it to the halfway point, despite Ugly's early advantage. How did you blow it, Ugly? But well done for Young Hu for winning a matchup. And now, 5TN2 will now take on Diddle Iddle. Now young 5TN2 does have the speed advantage here, so it's likely to do well, but can Diddle Iddle pull off a surprise here? 3, 
two, one, go. And away we go. 5 tn 2 hits the wall. Did Widow has made it through the gap, which is what I was expecting it to do earlier. But it's only just pulled that trick off now. But 5 tn 2 as soon as the barriers fall, has taken the advantage back and hits the wall. Going back the other way, and it shouldn't be too long before he crosses the line. He's having a few troubles at the turntables, and he's pushing the yellow thing underneath, which is causing it a delay. So Diddlewiddle can make a comeback here. This could be very close. Diddlewiddle is making a comeback, and the barrier's up. Diddlewiddle is coming, so you better be quick, 5TN2. Oh, 5TN2 just pulls it off. I really thought it was going to come unstuck there and Diddle was going to pull the surprise of the century, but it wasn't to be. Well done 5DN2. And that's it, that is it for heat number two. The sixth event is complete. Young who wins again, getting the maximum of four points, with 5DN2 in second place getting three points, Ugly Bug in third in two points, did a winner in fourth with one point. I just feel like that's kind of the almost default option at the moment. At least it has been for the last couple of rounds. This means that Young Hu finishes the round with 23 out of 24 points, only dropping points in the first event. With that surprise defeat to Ugly Bug in the sumo, 5TN2 finishes on 16 points, staggering 7 points behind Young Hu. That was a landslide victory, and Grandy will be licking his wounds going into the Mazazani rounds. Ugly Bug came in third, two points behind 5TN2, which isn't too bad, while Diddle Widdle, despite the early promise, has faded into just getting seven points, only one higher than the minimum it could have scored in this round. That's a real shame, as it did show some great promise early on. But, unfortunately Diddle, you have made it through to the Wooden Zook. Your journey in the main competition is over, but we'll look forward to seeing you in the Wooden Zook alongside Spindle Shanks and the other Zooks that will qualify that in future heats. With that being said, that is all for today. Join us next time where another four Zooks will take part in a series of events to find their place in the quarterfinals. Until then, my name is Zoom Robotic Master and I hope this has kind of quenched your Bamzuki first. I'm signing off. <laughs>